Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your support. And today we have an unboxing. Uh, this is actually a package that was sent to me by a gentleman by the name Nicolas. And he is Greek and uh, he just happened to message me on Facebook talking about how he acquired these samples from a new uh, perfume company called Theo. And I'm actually going to leave the, leave the information down below. So if you're interested in checking them out on Fragrantica and what they have to offer. They have a few fragrances, they're just starting out. But it is a Greek company and they're based out of Greece and their fragrances aren't available worldwide yet, unfortunately. So he wanted to share these samples with me to see what I think about them if I wouldn't mind giving them their fair share on camera. So I want to thank you very much, Nicola, for giving these samples to me. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'm really excited to open this up and let you guys know on camera what I think about them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here it is. It's already fragrant. I can I can smell it already. So he wrapped it up in bubble wrap. And we have it in a Ziploc baggie. And it even says testers for Nicolas Yalis, which is uh, my friend's name. So just a personalization for this company, which I think is Bio Aroma, uh, which is located in Crete. Um, really, really cool. So. Go ahead and open this up. I'm secretly hoping I don't like these, so I don't have to purchase them, but I know that's never the case. I always fall in love with something. So, we have uh, two different, fra oh, three different fragrances, excuse me. Uh, this one is called Lily, and by, uh, it's Theo, Theo Parfums, and I would go as far as saying that this is the perfumer himself, which is really cool. Okay, Yinekia. So this is a, a, a woman's fragrance, and I want to see if this says the same. It's actually written in Greek, but I do read Greek. And um, okay, so the perfumer's name is Theodoros Kalotinis, Kalotinis, I should say, and uh, he put these fragrances together. So one is called Gardenia, and the other is called Lily, and then here. We have a fragrance called 1989, like the Taylor Swift album, a year after I was born. So I guess let's start off with these two because they're marketed, I guess they're marketed, yeah, they are marketed for women. Um, and I wanna see what I think about them. So I'll start with the Lily. <clears throat> and I actually really do like the smell of Lily. Um, we've had a lot of lilies growing in my house when I lived in Greece, surprisingly. I don't think I've smelled Lily <clears throat> in plant form uh, since I came to America. But let's go ahead and try this out. want to make sure I have free skin for this one. I've been spraying a lot today. I did a few videos today, so please excuse me. Oh, it's nice. It's really nice, actually. Aw. This is a really delicate sort of scent. <sighs> it's nice, it's floral, but it has a sweetness to it as well. I personally wouldn't mind wearing this one. I thought it was going to be overtly floral, but it's not. This is a really nice blend of notes. So far, I'm actually really liking this one, Lily. Again, I don't know if it's something that I would commit uh, to purchasing a full bottle of, but certainly it smells really nice. I would love to smell this one on my wife. So let's go ahead and move on to Gardenia. So Gardenia... Um, in many cases is a fantasy note in perfumery. And usually they use other florals like jasmine to produce the smell of gardenia because the, the scent of gardenia is so difficult to capture. So I'm really curious to smell this interpretation. I wanna see if I have free skin first of all. So I actually just did a video on note fragrances so if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link down below. So check that one out. That's another great company. A uh, few fragrances that were sent to me by my friend Danielle Fleming, who uh, is over in PA, and uh, that's her. She's a perfumer behind uh, those fragrances. So that's why I'm sort of running out of skin here, but super excited to try this out. Mm. Oh, this is really nice, very natural smelling. I do think it's a little feminine though, so. I don't know if it's something that I would wear. I personally, do, I, I would rather wear the Lily 
over the gardenia, but what a gorgeous scent. Wow, it has a cleanliness about it. It has a very subtle nature to it. A very sort of innocent, yet charismatic quality about it. I personally really like it. It's just not something that I would wear. And then the last one that I'm going to try is uh, 1989. And I have a little bit of space on the inside of my skin here. So I'm looking forward to this one. I believe this one is marketed for men. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Okay, this is a good one. It has a woodsy quality. There's a, a green quality to it as well. There's definitely a green quality. Maybe a little woodsy. I'm actually going to put on a little bit more. Maybe, dare I even say, a little animalic to an extent. Not, not really. You're getting more of the woods in there. But this is nice. This is certainly an intriguing scent. So anyways, I just wanted to come at you guys with a quick first impression. One, once again, I want to say a huge thank you to my friend Nicola. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I appreciate it very much. And uh, if you guys have owned or tried any of these scents, which is highly unlikely because it's such a new company and it's not... Uh, widely available but if you have tried these let me know what you think leave a comment down below i'm actually also going to leave the information to this company where you may find these fragrances if you're looking for a fragrance to buy for a significant other uh who is into feminine fragrances these two are both gold i mean they're amazing the gardenia really nice the lily is also good too so guys thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe for future videos top tens giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance-related content. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.